what's up guys so i just woke up it's about four four five in the morning and uh i got some shit i need to say well all right so pretty much i was scrolling on twitter right and we all know nothing good comes from twitter Actually, we have an agenda today. Sorry. We have an agenda. We're going to be talking about a couple things. Um, first thing is, like, self-harm and, like, telling people about your story and how to do it properly without upsetting other people who have been through it. And if anyone here knows me, um... They know I've had my own personal battle with it and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about that one first. And then the next thing we're going to talk about, which I saw um, that Boston's going to do, is a straight pride parade. I, I don't even know what that is like, even going to... What, is it just gonna be a bunch of straight people walking down the fucking road? Like, I don't... I don't know. So we're gonna talk about that and how stupid that is. And the third is just, um... Uh, just a, uh, little check-in. You know. Daily updates. Um... Life. Love and everything in between. So let's, uh... Hop into it. So... First things up is self-harm and sharing your story and how to do it properly. So, pretty much. I was scrolling on Twitter, right? I saw this tweet that the late, this girl was just like, Oh, sorry for the disturbing images, but... And then just went on to, like, explain her story or whatever, which I'm always getting down for a good story, you know? Okay, not, that was really bad wording. But, like, I'm always interested in hearing other people's stories and how they cope with things and how they got through it and what has happened. You know? Because, like, we all need that support in life, you know? And I feel like that's what this world is lacking is a little bit of support for one another. So, pretty much, what it was was, like, her trying to tell her story, but, like, the first thing I freaking see... Or like fresh cuts, pictures of those fresh cuts. And I'm just like, whoa. Before we snowball into your nice little story. Um, no. Like, no. That is not. Because I know once people see that, they're going to be like, no, I don't want to read that. And they're just going to swipe, report it. All that. Because nobody wants to. Like, it was like cuts, like dripping blood. And I was like, no. That's not how we're going to do this. And so, obviously, I had my input, and I was like, listen, like, if you want to share your story, fine, that's good, that's fine, but just don't, you don't have to include the pictures, because honestly, in my eyes, that's a part of, like, maybe, like, people, I feel like people are going to get mad at me for this, but, like, I'm allowed to say it, because I did it, um, is attention, like, I, like, if you're struggling within yourself and with life and everything, that's fine. Like, you can struggle, like, okay, you shouldn't be struggling, but, like, if you are, do it within your house, wherever the hell you are. Like, struggle within yourself. Like, don't bring people in if you need to, but, like, I mean, obviously, get help. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Um, get help, obviously. But, like, if you're trying to deal with things on your own, you don't, there's no need to, like, post those cuts, post self-harm, like, don't, because that's just going to upset other people. And if you're looking for support, you don't want to upset other people and turn them away, because then you're not going to get the support you need. You're not going to get the help you need. In, your, in, like, their mindset, they might think, like, hey, if people see it, they might know that it's real, that I need help. But then, on the other side of it, people will be like, I don't want to see that. What, like, 
it just turns people away. And honestly, yeah, that's like that's true. Like if you show it, oh, excuse me. If you show things off, if you show off your cuts, it's, no one's gonna people are gonna oh oh they're just gonna be turned off by it, and it's just not a good thing. So how to share your story properly. Um, post only facts, only facts. Don't embellish anything. If you're struggling, just fucking say it. You know, just don't. So, post facts. Post what you've actually been through. Don't, like, try to make it this glorious thing and be like, oh, I went through this, this, and this, this. Blah, blah, blah. Even if it's something small. Like, it, it might be small to somebody else, but it's not small to you. And just... Honestly, just be honest about it. Like, be honest with what you're going through. Just. And reach out for help. It doesn't hurt to ask for help. I know I didn't ask for help for a very long time. Because I was like, oh, I can get through this by myself. Like, I'll be fine. That was the rational side of me talking. But then the other side was just like, just kill yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Which, so I had both sides of my mind, just, I kind of, a part of me listened to the kill yourself side, but, and then the other side was like, you need fucking help, like, if you're listening to that side, you need help. So I listened to the help side, actually it wasn't really my choice to get help, I was just like, pushed into therapy and whatnot, but this isn't about me, so. No, but like ask for help like it doesn't it's not gonna it doesn't mean you're any less of a person if you ask for help um everyone has their own demons they're battling it's not a crazy thing to do and if you end up in the hospital that might just be the best thing for you so you can like work one on one with like a counselor or even in a group so you can hear other people's stories and be like, wow, I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not alone because nobody's ever truly alone. Like there's always somebody else who's going through the same thing as you. But if you're just going to keep to yourself and not reach out, you're never going to know that. Like you're going to be like, wow, I'm the only one going through this. Like nobody can help me. But there are like a million people who can help you. Even if like you go to a counselor or whatever. Like they may not have gone through it personally, but they've dealt with people that have and they can share, maybe not share their stories, but like make you feel less alone. Um, so yeah, post facts, don't embellish on the story and reach out for help. That's what you can do. Share your story, help other people. Or even if you're not asking for help, if you just want to share your story from a past. Post facts. Don't embellish the story. Um, let people know that you're there. That if they're going through it, you can open yourself up for people to ask you for help. And do your fucking hardest to help them. Don't be like, yeah, ask me for help. And if someone hits you up, don't be like, oh, sorry, I'm busy. Like, because that... Because think of it, like, if in your mind, like... If you, someone was like, yeah, ask me for help, and you ask them for help, and they're like, oh, sorry, I can't help you. Like, that's kind of shitty, you know? Don't, just because if they're not going through the same thing that you have, doesn't mean that you can't offer help and make them feel less lonely. This fucking straight pride parade, what is that? Like, <sighs> apparently it's going to take place in Boston, um, these Trump supporters, obviously they're fucking Trump supporters, um, were like, hey, uh, where's our parade? Like, bitch. Like, no, you don't get a fucking parade. Majority of the world is straight. So why do you need a parade? You have so many things relating to straight people. Like, you don't get... It's probably the same people that are like... <laughs> Where's the white, like, white awareness month or whatever. Like, you know, I, the 
white history that's what i meant to say white history months because we have like black history months and whatnot and dude the world was created by white people okay not created i'm not a white supremacist or anything like that like i love everybody but like most of what the world okay not world the u.s is is Face silly on white people. Let's face it. We have a Black History Month because African Americans were suppressed. And then they weren't. And they're like, yeah, let's celebrate that. You know, like people need to know our history. Like they're forced to know white Americans' histories. Why can't we know their history? It, like, if we want to be as diverse as we say we do then we need to include everybody. But this stupid white pride thing is stupid. It's a joke. It's mocking fucking gay people or trans people or all of the like. It's mocking the pride parade, pretty much. That's what it is. And like, it's stupid. And if any of you go to that, you're stupid. Like, I I'm probably, okay. I'm probably gonna go just to ruin their parade. Like, I'm going to recruit as many LGBT people that I can. I would add all the other letters, but it's so fucking long. So, um, I'm gonna recruit everybody that I can, and we're gonna be like, let's go. Dress in your fucking pride shit. Let's make it another pride parade. But for us. Because they don't get a parade. They don't get a parade. And they say they do. They literally listed Brad Pitt as their mascot. And he has nothing to do with it. He's like, he's not in association with it or anything. Oh, I also forgot to show you my tattoo. Huh. I'll, sh I'll post a close up of it. Um, but. It's stupid. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's like when they were like, huh. What was it? It was something about, like... No, that's what it was. Straight pride. It... Dude, we had to fight for us to be able to get married. You guys have always been able to get married. Like, we had to fight for that shit. And in some states, I think, we still can't get married. So, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, let us have our thing. Let us celebrate. Like, we really can't have anything, can we? Like, to ourselves. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. And the fact that, like, they said if Boston, like, if the legal people in Boston reject the parade, that they're gonna file discrimination. Okay, we're not discriminating against straight people. We're discriminating against fucking idiots and assholes. That's what we're discriminating against, so. Ooh. Like, I don't get why you have to have a parade. You have the fucking New York City parade, the Thanksgiving Day parade, Macy's Day parade, whatever the fuck. You have so many parades for straight people. Even though it's not for straight people, but, like, it's... For straight people. <sighs> and that, like, just seeing that, I'm just like, what? What? So, um... Yeah, if you want to come ruin Pride with me, or mm, mm, if you want to come ruin straight Pride with me, August 31st, Boston. I don't know exactly where in Boston, so I think it's where they hold all the other, like the Boston Pride, that's where they hold it. They want it the same location, they want the same, like, accommodations. That Pride gets. Like, they want closed streets. They want to be able to drive cars and floats and balloons. And it's like, really? Really? It's just, like, what is it going to be? What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? That you're straight? Like, woo! I, I didn't have to suffer. I didn't have to fight. I didn't have to hide who I am. Woo! What the fuck? 
Like, I didn't have to get bullied. That's, that's what they're celebrating. That they didn't have to go through any of the struggles we did. That's, that's, that's what they're saying. And honestly, like, it's so stupid, but it pisses me off on, like, so many levels that you don't need a straight pride parade. It's just gonna be a bunch of, like, what are they? Apparently they have their own flag, too. Which, whatever. I don't know. Like, apparently it's, like, I think it's, like, yellow, pink, and white or some shit with, like, the, the female logo and the male logo on it. Or symbol, symbol, not logo. Oh, excuse me. But, okay, on the other hand, um, check-in time. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on in your life? Um, I, I got two jobs. I got, I got my citizenship. I don't know if I told you that. Um, where's my wallet? Oi. I finally got my citizenship, I got my license, I got my permit, I got everything, I'm gonna be driving soon. Stay the fuck off the roads. Just kidding, I'm a good driver, so. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on with me, not that you care. But, uh, that poster's falling. It's been falling for like a month. And yeah. I just felt like I need to talk. I, blah, 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 blah. I just felt like I needed to talk about that stuff. It's kind of important. So, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, one more thing. If you go to Straight Pride, you're on the shit list. Even if I don't know who you are, you're on the shit list automatically. I'm gonna fight you. I'll find you and I'll fight you. Alright, cool. Have a good day.